حضرت علی رضی الله عنه Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu, son of Abu Talib, the uncle of our Prophet peace be upon him, was one of the first Muslims who accepted Islam at an early age. He was also the son-in-law of the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him and a member of his Al Al Bayt household. He grew up alongside the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and was taught by him. He never prostrated himself before idols or worshipped them. He prostrated himself before Allah alone. He was therefore known by the name of Karam Allah Waju. May Allah honor his face. Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu became one of our prophets, peace be upon him, closest helpers ever since he accepted Islam at an early age, and he remained with him until his death. Hazrat Ali was born in Mecca some 23 years before the Hijra or migration. He is a blessed caliph of Islam whose adherence to Quranic moral values our Prophet peace be upon him cited as exemplary. He was the last caliph in the era of the four caliphs, one of the most glorious times in the history of Islam. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him married him to his beloved daughter Hazrat Fatima, thus making him his son-in-law. Hazrat Ali had three sons by Hazrat Fatima, Hassan, Hussein and Muhsin and two daughters, Zainab and Amu Gulsum. The line of our Prophet, peace be upon him, continued through Hazrat Hassan and Hazrat Hussain, the sons of Hazrat Ali and Hazrat Fatima. Hazrat Ali's love for an exemplary obedience to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. Muhammad ibn Jarir al-Tabari cites Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu as saying, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, called me and said, O Ali, Almighty Allah has commanded me to warn and frighten those close to me. Prepare a meal for us. Then bring together the sons of Abdul Muttalib for me to talk to them, so I can communicate them what I have been commanded. At the Messenger of Allah's, peace be upon him, command, I gathered them together, and the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said to them, Almighty Allah has charged me with calling you to him. Which one of you wishes to be my brother, higher and caliph? All those there were silent. Although I was younger than any of them, I said, O oh, the Messenger of Allah, I want to be your helper. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, put his hand on my neck and said, This person is my brother, higher and caliph among you. Listen to him and obey his commands. The Learned Caliph of Islam one of Hazrat Ali's anhu, most prominent characteristics was the learning he possessed by the leave of Allah. His learning was not limited to texts of jurisprudence and laws. He was also one of the leading figures of his time in mathematics and similar branches of science. Our Prophet peace be upon him praised this important attribute of Hazrat Ali in the Hadith. I am the city of learning and Hazrat Ali anhu, is the gate. Ever since childhood, Hazrat Ali was alongside the Prophet, peace be upon him, and learned about Quranic moral values and the wisdom of the Quran from him, and served as his secretary of revelation. Hazrat Ali was one of the leading scholars of Islamic jurisprudence among the companions. Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu said, I would memorize whatever I heard from the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and never forgot it. <laughs> Hazrat Ali's radiallahu anhu exemplary courage. Another one of Hazrat Ali's radiallahu anhu most prominent characteristics was his exemplary courage. Hazrat Ali feared nobody other than Allah, exhibited great determination, and made no concessions regarding the moral values of the Quran under any circumstances. He served as standard bearer in all the battles he fought in. He was only absent from the battle of Tabuk, as he had remained in Medina at the Prophet's peace be upon him command. He was around 25 at the battle of Badr and commanded the defenders of Islam. Despite receiving 70 wounds, he continued fighting alongside the messenger of Allah peace be upon him right up to the end. During the fighting against the pagans at the battle of Uhud, Hazrat Ali's sword broke in his hand as he was defending our Prophet peace be upon him. Upon this, our Prophet peace be upon him gave him his own famous sword called Zulfikar. Tabii Hazreti Ali'nin kılıcı da Mehdi'nin yanında olacaktır. Bir rivayette de vardır Zulfikar o da buradadır. 
Hazreti Ali'nin kılıcı Topkapı'dadır biliyorsunuz. Peygamber Efendimiz kılıçla da yerinde olacaktır. Onlar teberrüken kullanılacaktır Hazreti Mehdi. Yani e, yanında bir süs ve güzellik olarak bir süre bulunduracaktır. At the Battle of the Trench, he struck down the renowned Arab warrior Amr ibn Abdiwud with a heavy blow. This achievement of Hazrat Ali played a major role in the outcome of the Battle of the Trench. During the Battle of Khaybar, Hazrat Ali tore down the door of the castle of Khaybar with his own hand and used it as a shield. Tam mücahit. Maşallah. Hazrat Ali 17 yerinden yaralanmışlardı. Aslanım benim. Maşallah. Ayakta aslan gibi daha hala devam ediyor. 17 yerinden. Evet hocam. Maşallah. Kılıç yarası aldı. İnşallah, inşallah. Ya bir tane kılıç yarası alsa insan değil mi takla atar düşer yani. <gülüyor> 17 yerinden yaralılar benim aslanım maşallah. maşallah. Dedem var değil mi? Evet. O aslan gibi yine ayakta. Maşallah. Hayber kalesinin kapısını söktü yani. Evet. İnşallah. O adına elinden maşallah. When Mecca was conquered, he and the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, smashed the idols around the Kaaba. Then they entered inside, tore down the idols there, and threw them outside. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, ordered that the idols that were high up should be smashed, saying, O oh Ali, climb on my shoulders and tear them down and break them. Hazrat Ali climbed onto the shoulders of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and cast the idols down. He described the fervent love of Allah he felt at that moment in the words, I felt as if I could have reached the sky had I so wished. Hazrat Ali's radiallahu anhu appearance and beauty. Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu had wheat colored skin, green eyes, a thick beard, a smiling face, a broad chest and a majestic appearance. Hazrat Ali benim dedem aslan gibidir o böyle e, geniş omuzlu, yeşil gözlüdür Hazrat Ali. Pehlivan da o biliyorsunuz. E, yani müthiş güçlüydü. Hayber Kalesi'nin kapısını söktü böyle kuvvetini, şiddetini oradan anlayın. Ee, çok şakacıdır Hazreti Ali. Sevecen, neşeli, dışa dönük bir insandır. Hayat doluydu. Ben dedem Hazreti Ali, e, yani görenin nefesi kesilecek derecede yakışıklıydı. Some of the appellations of Hazret Ali, radiallahu anhu. Şer i Yazdan, the Lion of Allah. Al Quran an Natik, the Speaking Quran. Haydar, the Lion. Haydar al Karar. He who heroically attacks the enemy revolving around himself. Al Murtada, he with whom Allah is well pleased. Shah he Waliat, the Shah of the Guardians. Amir al Mu'minin, commander of the believers. Asadullah, the Lion of Allah. Shah i Mardan, the Shah of the heroes. Saifullah, the Sword of Allah. Sultan al Ashia, the Sultan of the Generous. Abu Turab, the father of the soil. Hazrat Ali died in 661 on the morning of the 19th day of Ramadan, being martyred by a blow from the poisoned sword of Abdul Rahman ibn Mujam while he was performing the morning prayer in the mosque of Kufa. Hazrat Ali's dying words were I swear that I have achieved what I hoped for. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, foretold the martyrdom of Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, gave Hazrat Ali the title of Abu Turab, or the father of the land, and foretold his martyrdom. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, saw Hazrat Ali and Amar Yasir stretched out and asleep on the soft crown, and woke them up. He then touched Hazrat Ali with his hands and said, Awake, O Abu Turab! Father of the soil, would you like me to tell you of the most wretched of men? And then he said, There are two of them. One is Umir Samud, who slew the camel of Saleh. The other is, pointing to Hazrat Ali's radiallahu anhu head, the person who strikes here with his sword, smearing your beard with blood. Our prophets, peace be upon words, about Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu. He who loves Ali has loved me. Enmity toward him is enmity toward me. He who offends him has offended me. And he who has offended me has of course offended Allah. Everything has a wing. The arm and wing of this Ummah are Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu and Umar radiallahu anhu. Everything also has a shield. And the shield of this Ummah is Ali radiallahu anhu. Hazrat Mahdi alayhi salam in Hazrat Ali's radiallahu anhu words. 
Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu felt a fervent love for Hazrat Mahdi alayhi salam, who will be descended from his line. In one of his statements, he expresses the need to overcome all obstacles in order to reach Hazrat Mahdi alayhi salam. Even if I were in a locked chest, I would have broken the lock and emerged in order to join the Mahdi alayhi salam. Because the Mahdi alayhi salam, the Caliph of Allah is there. In another statement of his, he prays for Hazrat Mahdi salam and expresses his longing and love for Hazrat Mahdi salam by saying, How I would have wished to see him. He then listed the qualities of Hazrat Mahdi salam. He is the broadest refuge among you. He is the one with the greatest knowledge among you. And he is the one who most seeks out and asks for his friends and loved ones. By Allah, Make his coming instrumental in overcoming sadness and bring my fragmented ummah together through him. If Allah grants you success, run to swear allegiance to him, join him and never abandon him. If you succeed and reach him and find the true path, then never leave him. Ah, and here he pointed to his chest, how I long to see him. Our Prophet peace be upon him knew the name of Azamahdi alayhi but made Hazrat Ali, may Allah be pleased with him, promise not to reveal it. Jabir narrates from Abu Jafar, when Umar asked the Prince of Believers, Hazrat Ali, about the Mahdi, he said, O Ibn Abu Talib, Hazrat Ali, tell me of the Mahdi, what is his name? And the Prince of Believers, Hazrat Ali, said, My dear and beloved friend, our Prophet peace be upon him said, Almighty Allah made me promise not to reveal his Hazrat Mahdi salam, name until his coming. His Hazrat Mahdi salam, name is a piece of information entrusted by Almighty Allah to his messenger. Evet Allah, evet Allah. Nasıl dünya hakimiyetinin intikamına bu? Yani değil mi? Evet. Hani soyu kesikti peygamberin? Evet. Değil mi? İşte o tahakkuk edecek peygamberin neslinin dünya hakimiyeti tahakkuk edecek. İnşallah. i̇nşallah. Milyonlarca seyit ayaklanacak inşallah. Mane. Maşallah. Kanımızı talep edecek diyor. Mehdi'nin alnına sürülmüştür. Hasan'ın, Hüseyin'in ve Ali'nin kanı. İnşallah. Onların intikamını alacak. Evet. İntikam nedir? Dünya hakimiyetidir. Küfrün yeryüzüne silinmesidir. Tabi üç çizgi olarak alnına sürüldü. İnşallah. İnşallah. İnşallah.